Okay then, here we go. Another Wolfie demo. This time versus Denley, which is a player I have not seen around before, so it'll be interesting to see how they play. And we are on Fuse. Going to start off with Wolfie picking up the Mega Health, grabbing a good armor, and Denley looking like he's gone into the uh, armor room and taking a bit of damage. Nice prediction there from Wolfie. Manages to scare Denley off. Beautiful shot there from Denley. Landing a full fledged rocket right onto Wolfie. This is the first game in a best of three in the Xenotic Duel League that Wolfie has participated in. I'm very kindly sent over the demo for. Seems like we're going to get quite a lot of long-range engagements, though. Neither of these two players really seems to want to push in. Be interested to see how it goes further in the game. Uh, we know Wolfie tends to not push in, but if the fight comes to him, he'll take the fight. But we'll see whether Denley's going to be backing out of most fights, or whether he's going to try and force the issue once he's got a bit more stack. And potentially has softened up Wolfie just a little bit. First frag going to Denley though. As Wolfie picks up the arc. Managed to get a good bit of damage off of that. Nicely done. F ties it up. Gets the vortex and a beautiful spawn frag. Unfortunate spawn point there from Denley. And another unfortunate spawn point. Going to be in the middle but going to get away with it. Going to get out of, uh, out of where he was. Now Wolfie just stacking up a little bit. Remember this is Fuse, so no Mega Armor, only 250s, which means control over at least one of them is pretty much required, because if your opponent can get both of them, they've got so much extra health stack that you just can't access, even if you're fighting for the Megas. Beautiful shot there from Wolfie, full 80 damage. Now he's going to run over, grab this Mega. Hasn't taken very much damage since the last fights were going on. Going to take quite a bit of damage from Denley there. Goes down to pretty much a fresh spawn. Denley pushing in. Definitely Denley going to be wanting to push this issue. But goes down. Wolf Snipe only 16 health surviving from that. He's going to push in. Two health left. How is he going to get away with this? He manages to pull out. He's got five health again. Denley's going to be tr cruising to try and push in. And take him down. Wolfie clearly nervous hitting into every single wall. Going Denley picks up the armor. And gets fragged. Four to one the score. Somehow Wolfie survived three times I think that was. Less than 10 HP. Absolutely mad. But Denley none the wiser. Probably thinking right now why won't this fucker die? Because you never know when someone just won't die. You don't know on the other end of that whether they didn't die from 10 health or 100 health, you know? Good spam coming out from Wolfie. Going to grab both of the armors this time. Now has got that control I was talking about. Complete control of the 50 armors. Denley playing on the back foot now. Going to go down again. Wolfie's playing this pretty aggressive. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Heard him coming up behind. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Zenotic does have the low health scream. It's just kind of difficult to understand. I certainly don't listen out for it, but I'm sure better players than me do. I definitely know what it sounds like, because I hear it a lot from myself. But I'm not sure actually how loud it is. It potentially isn't loud enough to be heard over the top of whatever you're shooting. Wolfie's hunting down Denley, but Denley is definitely moving around this map really well. Avoiding confrontation at the minute. 
trying to stack up, but Wolfie's just absolutely timing everything to perfection, playing a really canny game here. Not letting Denley get into anything. And Denley can't quite connect with anything outside. The little bits of damage that Wolfie's doing with this, um, these two armors, you can get to a point where you can't pick them up because Wolfie's jumping around the map with the blaster so much. It's just doing little chip damage, just enough so that you can always build up, uh, build up that armor and deny it from Denley. And yeah, there's, Denley's option is really just to try and build up on shards, but it's going to be difficult. There's not too much on this map because of um, the idea from Spike, I believe, was to try and stop people from having excess armor, make them fight over that one single mega while kind of having control one and one. The map works really, really well if you've only got one if you've got one mega uh, one large armor each the map's really really tight beautiful spam coming from wolfie though not the greatest movement out of there nicely done there beautiful air shot kind of backing off a little bit interestingly i'm surprised by that he's got the control he's got the ability but i guess the frags on the board mean he doesn't really need to push the issue too much. He just needs to make sure he's doing enough damage to keep Denley out. And in some instances, when you've got this much of a score lead, it can be better to leave your opponent alive, but unable to f contest the next item to stack up. Um, I have seen that actually played out. I believe Rafa talked about doing it in a game of Quake Live. That he actually chose to leave his opponent on what he estimated was about 10 health after a fight because that meant his opponent was not going to contest the mega health whereas if there were a fresh spawn fresh spawn with a rocket launcher can contest the mega health absolutely but 10 health you might be able to get some chip damage on the escape but you don't really want to be going in for it you know Nice LG from Wolfie. Like the commitment there. Not trying to figure out what you're doing. Smashing around. Uh, trying to figure out your opponent. Pick a side. And shoot the shots at there. Denley going to pick up the Mega Armor. But takes 50 for the privilege. So. Oh, sorry the Mega Health. No Mega Armor on this map. Takes 50 damage to the privilege and should go down here in this fight. Denley, by the looks of things, just can't seem to connect in those uh, high impact fights. And Wolfie is absolutely out damaging them on the uh, long range like this. But in the f inside of the fights, Denley's just not got the accuracy that Wolfie does. But playing a fairly decent game still. And the scoreline absolutely reflects. Sometimes we say, oh, the scoreline doesn't reflect how close each of the fights have been. The scoreline really does absolutely reflect how close each of the fights have been. Wolfie has had a large amount of control, but does go down to his own frag there. Can Denley manage to pull this back? I doubt he's going to be able to get enough frags in the short amount of time left. But there is a chance that he's going to be able to uh, frag Wolfie and pull it back. But a good amount of damage from that shotgun. Shotguns in Zon are really powerful. I mean, 70 damage on the slap. There it is. Denley gets the fish slap with one minute left. Spicy words coming out from Wolfie. This is an 18 plus game, but... Uh, Spicy. Oh wow, Denley missing the armor, uh, missing the health. Why do I keep calling it armor? Missing the health on that one. Having to go back and taking quite a bit of damage. 
not a lot of health. Wolfie again, out on less than 10 health, uh, managing to get away from a fight. But Denley, I think he's got into his head at this point that Wolfie's just kind of unkillable sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's a GG. Not the most competitive game, but quite exciting from a hitting shots. You know, I'd, I'd say at least three or four of those kills came without seeing Denley at all. So, fantastic game there from Wolfie. Well played to Denley. Thank you very much for sending me this demo. And I will see you in the next demo jewel running thing. Ta-ra!